afternoon, Cougars. Hope you had a fantastic three-day weekend. Yes, it was very nice. And the SLE of the week is 1A, a faith-filled active Catholic who celebrates faith through prayer, sacraments, Christian service, words, and actions. So what this means is that you don't take any opportunities that you get to share your faith in for granted. So, like, what do we have coming up that you can? Yes, so we have coming up is our school mass that we are starting this year, and it's all school-led. And if you're in middle school, you can remember to sign up for the choir. Yes. You can always help out or come to Mass. And I believe it's on Sunday at 9.30. Yes. And the theme of the week this week is President's Week because yesterday was President's Day. And we're going to be having President's Facts for you guys throughout the week. Yes. Now we have... <laughs> so tomorrow we have Late Start, and it is our first week of the Kinder through 8th grade engineering yes. class. So now we have the president facts. So the first one is that you, that did you know at six feet and four inches, Abraham Lincoln was the tallest US president. That's I am tall. definitely not six feet and four inches. And I don't think that includes his little cap that he wears. Oh, the hat? Oh, his yeah. hat. I am definitely make, not six feet. That'd make him tall, that'd be like 6'10". I know, I'm Ooh. five, one and a half. Yes. There we go, yes. the half makes it. She's not very close to Abraham no, Lincoln. No, no. I wouldn't be the tallest president. No. Now, here's Ryan Kay with this week's weather. Hey, Cougars. This week's weather, again, will be a, a bit hotter, so make sure you leave the jackets at home. And the highs will average in the, in the high 70s and the low 50s. And then by the middle of the week, it should cool down a little bit, so you guys can maybe bring back jackets, but I don't recommend it. So, and there's a very little chance of rain all week. Here's Keen with the sports. Today, um, the 8th grade team has a game at home. No, I'm sorry. Um, tomorrow, the 8th grade team has a game at home at 3.30 against Mission Hills. And um, it is their first playoff game, so we got to come and support them. And then for girls sports, they need to sign up for softball. Here is Olivia with prayer. Today, Sam of the Day is St. Julian the Hospitaller. Julian was born in the 4th century in France. He came from a very wealthy family. As a result of some terrible events, he lost both his parents and it was his fault. This made him decide that he would devote the rest of his life to good works. Together with his wife, he built an inn and a hospital for the poor. The hospital was near a river which many travelers had to cross. People frequently drowned crossing the river, so Julian took responsibility of transporting the travelers across and tending to the sick. St. Julian became known as the poor man. He is a patron saint of many things. Travelers, boatmen, hotel and innkeepers, pilgrims, and many more things. St. Julian the Hospitaller, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. O Lord God, you restored St. Angela's sight when she was blind. Help us to see your love among us and never be blind to our faith. St. Angela, devote her life to care for the disabled. Grant us compassion, always hope those in need, and the dedication of a faithful life as she did. As St. Angela taught young girls who had no education, may we always value our teachers. Bring us closer to the Lord God and lead us on our journey to heaven and kingdom. St. Angela Marici, pray for us, amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Hear our faith in Colby. Have a wonderful rest of your day, Cougars. And when you got faith, got, got mercy. mercy.